It's been 245 days since the last full NFL Sunday, but now the wait is over. In a matter of moments, Joe Burrow and the AFC champion Bengals try to climb the mountain again. It's steamy in South Florida, perfect setting for a division grudge match, Patriots at Dolphins. The 49ers were minutes away from the Super Bowl. Is Trey Lance the man to put them over the top? And once upon a time, Mayfield was the man for the Browns, but Cleveland cast him aside, setting today's stage for the Baker Bowl. Buckle up and get yourself situated for the next 18 weeks. Hi, everyone, and welcome to NFL Red Zone, presented by Prime Video. Scott Hansen here, fired up as ever to be your touchdown tour guide for the next four months. It's good to be back, folks. The last eight months, one of the craziest off-seasons ever. So many players changing teams. Today, we find out what it all means. But as we've reached week one of the season of 2022, it's also 9-11. 2022 came on a couple minutes early today so we could look in live at the scene at MetLife Stadium the Jets are going to host the Ravens in a matter of moments but the national anthem is just about ready to be played at MetLife Stadium East Rutherford New Jersey about 11 miles away from ground zero as today of course is the anniversary of the terrorist attacks of September 11th we look in now live at MetLife Stadium teams that made the playoffs last season, 10 of them in the spotlight today. Nine games in the early window. It is robust here, kicking off at 1 o'clock Eastern. New Orleans is in Carolina. You've got uh, the battle of the one and two draft picks overall from the 2015 draft in Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston. Cleveland is at Carolina. San Francisco goes to Chicago. It is wet in the Windy City torrential downpour in pregame. We'll see how much it affects the festivities in Chicago during the game. Pittsburgh and Cincinnati a division matchup. We're going to get you to that interesting quarterback competition in just a moment. Philadelphia at Detroit. Both teams improved from their last uh, offseason. Indianapolis goes to Houston in a division matchup as well. New England at Miami in uh, Jersey. We just looked at the national anthem between the Jets and the Ravens. Jacksonville is at Washington to round out the nine games in the early window. There are four games in the late window with plenty of great storylines as well. Chiefs at Cardinals. Raiders, Chargers, the Vikings host the Packers, a massive week one game in the NFC North, and the Giants trying to get things going there with a new head coach, visit Tennessee to take on last year's one seed in the AFC, the Tennessee Titans. But those games come up in a few hours from now. We are set for the first of the kickoffs. Looks like Cincinnati and Pittsburgh are set to go. The only matchup out of the nine that are kicking off right now where both teams were in the postseason last year. And we are underway in the Queen City. Over the head of Olszewski and the Pittsburgh Steelers with a new era. It is Mitch Trubisky starting. Take another kickoff down in South Florida. The on-field temperature feels like over 100 degrees. The New England Patriots were in Miami five days ago. They had four days of practices to try and acclimate to the hot weather. We'll see if the offense can get it going early with Mac Jones, the second-year quarterback, under center. Check back in on that one in just a moment, but they are teeing it up in the Cleveland Browns and Carolina Panthers game. The return of Christian McCaffrey. You've got Baker Mayfield getting the ball first against his old team, and you know Baker wants to put up points and numbers and a W today against his old team. Kickoff going to go to about the 22-yard line on the return there. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 2022, we go to the Octobox. Eight of the nine games kicking off across the National Football League. Division games in Atlanta, Cincinnati, Houston, Miami, and we say it for the first time this season, seven hours of commercial-free football start now. Oh, Baker.